What's popping, everybody? What's popping, you guys? It's your girl Tiara, and I am back again today with another video. If you are here and you have not liked, comment on any of my videos, subscribe to my channel, I need you to stop, pause, and go do that now. We'll be here waiting on you. We won't leave you. We won't watch without you. Go ahead. It is your girl, Tiara, and I am back again today with another DIY that I bet you guys would love. This one is so cheap, so simple, and something that I'm going to put in my hallway. I don't know where you guys would like to put yours, but I think it's going to be nice in my hallway because the way our view is where people can look in and you know whatever you guys will see let's get to it so you guys here's our hallway and I have this long wall here sorry about the thumbtacks that's there already um, I had another big picture there but now I am going to add octagon shaped basically picture frames here and as I was saying, the view, like, it's like, okay, everybody can look in, we can look out, you know, and our house is like, you guys get it, the sunlight is always in. So, I'm going to put those there, you guys, let's get to it. For today's DIY, you are going to need craft sticks. I got mine from... Walmart for $4.98 and it comes with $300 in it. You guys, for the same price, you can either get the smaller ones that come with $1,000 in it or the even ones that's more bigger than this for, I think, uh, the same price but it's less sticks inside of it. So I decided to go with this one because I don't need my octagons too big but I don't need them too small either. Um, also, you're going to need your gold spray paint once again everyone loves asking me which spray paint i use it is very glossy very pretty this is the one i use i get it from walmart for 398 it is metallic gold very pretty this is the one i've been using since i started my diys and i have no plans to stop using it i love this gold i went out and bought more e6000 glue you guys because as we all know i was running out of e6000 glue in my last diy but we made it work so I went out and bought more. I got this from Walmart also for $2.98. For this one, they do have one a little bit bigger in the paint section. And it's like $4.98, I believe. But I got this one for $2.98 out of the craft section. It's the same glue. I also got... Oops, that one fell back in. Some more jewels. The exact ones that I used in my, not my last DIY, but the one before that, um, I did use these small ones here, and I'm going to use them again, but this time I also got some bigger ones, only because um, my sticks are going to be kind of big, you know, so putting all small ones is going to look kind of weird, but you guys, that's all we're going to need for this project, so let's get into it. Okay, you guys, my face is going to be... You know chopped out a little bit because i want you guys like i say always i want you to see what i'm doing here on the table so i'm going to go ahead and open my e6000 glue open my sticks course I'm gonna go pick that up because I can't stand a junkie house so I'll be picking that up in a few minutes okay. make sure you guys get a box that's taped down only because you don't want anyone like you don't want to get a box where you don't have all of your sticks in it where someone already done went in it and you know took some of them out Did I take all the tape off? I definitely did it. Oh, 
here we go 300 sticks you guys this is the size of one which is going to be perfect sizing right now i don't know if i want to spray my um sticks gold or if i want to use this other gold paint that i have where i could just rub it on there so i'm going to go and test that out come back and show you guys and then we'll definitely get started okay you guys i'm going to go ahead and lay down my stick i don't know where it went sorry about that noise you guys so oh found them i'm going to go ahead this is the other paint that i have you guys i got this one from walmart also i don't remember the price exactly so i will have it down in the link below oh this gold is so freaking bomb look at it you guys that gold is very pretty let's see how it'll look on our stick though yes i know i should have poured it out on something and you know all of that good stuff but i'm just testing it out you guys there we go Oh, this gold is so freaking bomb. I like this gold, you guys, personally. But it kind of makes the stick look like the stick. Oops, sorry, you guys. It's like, I don't know if you can really see the gold. So, I don't want it to just look wet. I really want it to look gold. So, let's get outside and spray paint one and see what it'll look like. Okay, you guys, I am back. <laughs> this is the difference. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the difference here, but I could. I think I'm going to go with the spray paint because it looked more gold, like a darker gold than that lighter one there i like this one better so let's get into it you guys so what i'm gonna do is take out six because of course we all know that we need six for that shape so six sides and i'm gonna go ahead and lay them out so i can see what i'm doing how i want to do it Make sure it's even. Okay, that looked kind of uneven. Here, you guys, I really need you guys to pay attention to how I'm going to lay them down because if you don't lay them down this way, you're it's going to be crooked a little once you get to the end, like laying that fifth layer, and it's going to really frustrate you. So, watch it here, and you'll have it. So I'm just going to lay these three down first because this will be my main base, those three. Then I'm going to go ahead and make sure each one of them, my other three is going to fit. You know, make sure it's even. Okay, this one I'm going to have to push up. Then I'll take my last one, lay it here. Now that I see that it's not even, you know, you just go ahead and move it around. until. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so this is good enough for my own good. 
Um, so those three that I just recently laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and pick them back up. Cause now I just want to glue my base, glue my bases right now. So, and you can go back and move them once you put the glue on to, you know, make sure it's even and everything. So there, I wanna go ahead and take off all three of my bases and go ahead and put glue on each side of that. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna make it really, really easy, you guys. I'm gonna take my top stick, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it. Make sure I have it even how I want it or, you know, however you like it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my second stick, add it to the top. Like I said, you guys, you can still move it around with your glue before it dries. Oh man, I stuck my hand on there. Still move it around before it dries. Just make sure you do it before it dries. Cause then you have to pop your sticks all the way back loose, which is not good. Okay, so this shape is kind of, Now me, remember you guys, I said I don't want mine to be all perfect and to each his own. If you want yours all perfect, go for it. Um, I have that there. You see, now it's much easier because you have your space here. So now you know which ones to lay on top of what. So here that I have that space, now I know my next ones need to go here, which would make it even because we have two lumps here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that one on top of there. You know, this one here, each time it'll only be three. So that's my three. And then the next go around, it'll be one here. So you guys can number it to make it easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one go, you know, it's gonna be all even numbers and the next go is all odd numbers. So right now I'm gonna do all even numbers, which is gonna be two. I already have one on six. I mean, two, four, and six there. Then the next time it'll be one, three, five. You know, you keep going like that. Two, four, six, one, three, five. Until you get as many of them that you want on there. This time, I'm but you each time you are going to put glue on each one. Each side, you're going to need glue every time. But your sticks will only be laid on those that set either all even or all odd. Two, four, oh. you get it you guys so on so that's how it goes now that I have it you know placed down I'm gonna go ahead and glue them together like this but this will only be my first layer I'm gonna do five layers on each one so when I say layers I mean I'm going to take another one and add it there, take another one, add it there. And I'm gonna go around about five times. Okay, you guys, I am all finished with the first one. As you can see, I had to put some stuff on there to you know, hold down those other sides until it completely dry, but the other sides are perfect. Um, all done. I love it and can't wait to get it spray painted and on the wall. I did go ahead and glue everything together. I'm gonna make 10 of them. Um, but I glued them together because I don't want, I wanna spray paint them while it's already put together.
Okay, you guys, now that we got them all glued, they're all dry. I let them sit for about an hour each. Well, the ones that I did first have been longer than an hour, but I let them all, you know, I let them sit once I was finished for about an hour. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag these bad boys outside so we can get to spray painting. Follow me there. Okay, you guys, now that we have them all outside, laid out. Oh, okay. This one isn't laid out, you guys. Um, now it is. We have them all laid out, and we're going to get to spray painting. good you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and let them bad boys dry you guys we are back to check on them let's see what we're working with the uh, all dry you guys I didn't mind spraying the back because it's not gonna show never ever ever but I did spray all the corners the front is gorgeous yeah now I'm gonna make sure all of them dry get them in so we can get them on the wall okay, you guys first what we're gonna do is Figure out what spot on the wall I want to put each one and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to put my pictures and basically make it a picture frame. So here you go you guys, this is now my wall, I'm going to give you guys a further back look, at least I'm going to try, sorry about the chair because I was just spinning on it, and yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and decorate it more, put my pictures and everything else I want to put on there. And I'll be okay, you guys, I am back again. And now that they are all dry, I know exactly where I want them to go on the wall. I'm going to go ahead and take them and go ahead put my jewels on them. So let's get it. Let's go. I'm just gonna clean around the blue top. Okay, 
you guys, I am all finished with the wall. Oh my God, it is beautiful, you guys. And the pictures that are in it is so freaking clear. They are beautiful. That's me and Babe. That's the Flower Girls and Babe. Me and Babe. Babe and my aunts in law. Me, Babe, and my mommy. And me and Babe. Yeah. I will have more pictures at the end, so stay tuned.